London System, 3, C54.E3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. The end game was sloppy, but White got the better of it. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. The center's d5 square expands and obtains control of the e4 and c4 squares. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. c5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the knight behind the c pawn. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. This misses a chance to make a winning argument. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This misses a chance to strengthen a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. There is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It falls flat. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. A very strong play. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to kick a rook. It is incorrect. This ignores a better way to move a knight to safety. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This is the only good move. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from gaining an advantage. It is ideal. This loses a knight. There was only one good move in that position. It is a blunder. This threatens to win a knight. 
only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This misses an opportunity to win a knight. It is a miss. This allows the opponent to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is a mistake. This breaks a pin, enabling a pawn to provide needed defense. It is best. This is not the best move, but an interesting alternative. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is good. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This loses a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable rook. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it.